The My Classes Discussions feature has been redesigned to offer both better functionality and a more user-friendly interface. At this time, discussions and assignments redesign must be enabled in your course to use these features. To enable this redesign, go to Settings in your My Classes course. Then select Feature Previews from the Settings menu that runs across the top of the page. You will see a list of features that can be enabled or disabled through this menu. Find the Discussions and Announcements redesigned on this list and click the red X next to it. This will bring up the option to either enable or disable this feature. Go ahead and enable the feature in your course. Although the redesign also refers to announcements, please note that while it may change the look of announcements, the functionality of announcements has remained the same. When creating a discussion post, after giving your post a title and a prompt, you have a few options as to the settings for the discussion. Underneath the discussions text box, you will notice the post to option. Using this option, you can select to post within all sections of your course or only within a specific section. Please note that if you make this a graded assignment, the post to option will disappear and you will select a specific section to assign the discussion to using the assign to feature. Underneath the post to option, you will see the attachment section. Here you can upload a file to attach to a post. On this page, you also have several checkboxes that will affect the way students view and interact with the post. You can select the user must post before seeing replies option to have students reply to the post before being able to see replies made by other students. You will also notice the option to make the discussion post graded within this list. If you would like to add a due date to the discussion, but do not want it to be graded, you can use the Add to Student to Do selection. By selecting this checkbox, you can then select a date from the calendar that you would like the discussion to be done by. Beneath the options with checkboxes are both the group discussion and available from and until date options. Select the this is a group discussion option to set a discussion as a group discussion. After making the selection, you will be given the option to create or select a group set to assign to the discussion. The group set specifies the different groups the students are in. See our Creating Student Groups video for more information on creating groups within group sets. You can select dates from the available from and until calendars to set when the post will become available to students as well as when it will close for responses. This is optional. Within an individual discussion topic, you will notice that the main topic, as well as the discussions toolbar, are at the top of the page. Each discussion will show the initial replies for that post, as well as an indicator when there are discussions embedded within each reply. When participants respond to a discussion prompt, newer posts will show at the top automatically. But by using the sort function within the toolbar, the user can switch between seeing the oldest or newest post first, depending on their preference. Additionally, replies can be marked as read or unread based on the user need to retain or remove notifications. Under each response to a discussion prompt, you will notice an option to reply. When replying to another's response on a post, a discussion thread is made underneath the original reply. Next to the reply option, you will see a number indicating how many replies were made to that particular discussion post. By clicking the number, that discussion thread will pop out on the right hand side of the screen, displaying the original response as well as all the replies to it. 
Additionally, by selecting the quote function underneath one of these replies, you can quote someone's reply and respond to it directly. For a group discussion, you will see an icon with two figures next to the search bar. When you select that icon, a drop down menu will appear with links to each of the groups within the discussion. After clicking the link, you will be taken into that group space to see the discussion thread for that particular group. To switch to a different group discussion from here, you can either select that same icon which will again give you the drop down menu with each group, or you can use the switch group drop down. Please note that if you use the switch group drop down, you will not automatically be taken to the group discussion. On the discussions page, when you want to close replies to a topic, you can click and drag a discussion down to the close for comments section. Additionally, you can select the three dots on the far right side of any discussion to bring up an options menu. Then you can select close for comments from that menu to close a discussion. You are also able to open a discussion back up after closing it. To do so, simply drag the discussion back to the discussion section and the discussion will be reopened. You also have the option to pin discussions, forcing a discussion to appear at the top of the page under pin discussions. To do this, simply drag the discussion from the open discussion section up to the pin discussion section. Please note that the pin discussions can be rearranged in any format that you choose by clicking and dragging within this section. But posts within the open discussion section will automatically be ordered by recent activity.